when we walked into the lingerie department, there was nobody there, which was strange. It was in the evening, so. And on the counter were three really fancy boxes and a see-through bodysuit. He walked right to the bodysuit and snatched it up and said, go put this on. Now, that struck me as so funny because here I am, 52. I am not going to be put. My idea was, I said, no, you put it on. And he said, no, it looks like it fits you. I said, no, it goes with your eyes. So I am spinning a comedy scene in it's, my head. Of course, banter, back and forth. I get it. But Total you banter. see how funny that would be to make him put yes. that on. Right. Yes, and you, by the way, used to be a comedy writer on Saturday Night Live. Right. You were engaging in this banter, as I think many of us would, because yes. you didn't know what violence was no, about I had... to unfold, and you could never have known that. How and, would I know that? Of course. And Although so, I thought I was pretty stupid. Well, I mean, I understand that afterwards, in retrospect, you blame yourself. Many women in this situation do. However, you go into the dressing room, you think that he's going to hold it up against him, yeah. and then it gets violent. Well, he, the minute he, he went like this, I preceded him into the dressing room. The minute he closed that door, I was banged up against the wall. He slammed you against the wall. Yeah, I hit my head really hard. Boom. You point out that he's a tall, big person, and six, he pinned three. you in some way. Well, I'm a tall person, too. I was 6'1 in my heels, and I was a competitive athlete. So, you know, when somebody shows you, the thing is, it shocked me. It, for a moment, I was stunned, right? And then he tried to kiss me, which was, it was so hard. But so my reaction was to laugh, to knock off the erotic whatever he had going on, because the man, when you laugh at him, he's like, Ugh, no. You know, he just went at it. And when you say went at it, you know, I mean... He pulled down my tights. And uh, it was a fight. It was a... Sp I want women to know that I did not stand there. I did not freeze. I was not paralyzed, which is a reaction that I could have had because it's so shocking. No, I fought. Uh, and um, it was over very quickly. It was against my will, 100%. And I ran away, out. And he pinned you, I mean, just uh, without getting overly graphic, he pinned you against the wall. He, yeah, he held his sho shoulder he put, against he you. He put his yeah. shoulder against you. And he is, you're right, He's. But you made that point. He's much bigger than you are. I mean, I, not just tall, I mean, in terms of yeah, he the, would, yeah. The, the, yeah. his massiveness. Um, and so he pinned you against the wall, he ripped off your tights, and... Not all the way off, just down. Down. He pulled down his pants. He, no, just unzipped. He unzipped his pants. And this is beyond sexual. I mean, legally, he raped you. I don't use the word. I have difficulty with the word. I, I you think see it as it's... a fight. I yes. just, I don't, you know. I understand, but you, you see it as a fight and you don't want to be seen as a victim, and I totally get that. Don't want to be seen as a victim because I over, quickly over, went past it. It was a very, very brief episode of my life. Very brief. I am not faced with sexual violence every single day like many women around the world. And so, yes, I'm very careful with that word. I understand. I, I like you, you, you will use it. You're an... Well, here's the situation. I understand that you don't want this to define you, of course, mm. who would? But I'm saying legally, it was rape. It's unambiguous. What you describe in the mm. book, mm. it was rape. And that actually goes further than the 15 women who came forward um, during the campaign who to say that they, they describe situations very similar to what you experienced. Him getting them into a room, him pinning them against a wall, him forcing a kiss on mm -hmm. them. But yours actually goes further in terms of being legally rape. That's what it was. And so when you heard Donald Trump in the infamous Access Hollywood tape, sort of foreshadow this, or at least explain himself to Billy Bush. Let me just remind people of how he described encounters like this. Listen to this. I gotta use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. I could do anything. What did you think when you heard that? It knocked me back. Um, I felt relief. 
And I, that's right. That's right. You felt relief that that was confirmation, basically, you felt. So as you know, um, since you came forward, the president has denied all of this. Let me read to you his statement. He says on Friday, um, I've never met this person in my life. She's trying to sell a new book. That should indicate her motivation. It should be sold in the fiction section. No pictures, no surveillance, no video, no reports, no sales attendance around. I would like to thank Bergdorf Goodman for confirming they have no video footage of any such incident because it never happened. Your response? Well, what is the title of this book? What do we need men for? Does it say Donald Trump attacked me? There, we, I never mentioned uh, Donald Trump uh, in the description of the book. On Amazon, you don't see it. It was not about selling a book about Donald, Donald Trump. By the way, men never get the, male authors never get this question. About are you just trying to sell books? Yes, of but course. I mean, but, but beyond the, the book selling part, he denies that it happened. He just denies. Oh, he well, also I'm denies right. that he met you, though there is a I picture know. of you two having met. Um, I think that what he's what he has said is that that was just in passing at a party. But here's the picture of you two. This is your that was your ex husband, and so there's photographic evidence of you having met Donald Trump. Right. Um, but he is denying that. that. Well, that is his, with all the 15 women who've, or 16 who've come forward, it's the same. He denies it, he turns it around, he attacks, and he threatens. That so, is the, and then everybody forgets it, and then the next woman comes along, and I am sick of it. I am, Allison, I am sick of it. Think how many women have come forward. Nothing happens. The only thing we can do is, sit with you and tell our stories so that we empower other women to come forward and tell their stories because we have to change this culture of sexual violence. 